Hi hey guys, I'm Sean Stone. And I'm Jay Bates. And this is another episode of I Get Email. Today's question is from Michael, and he asked, what was the deciding factor in going with the 10-inch, three-quarter horsepower version of your Turncrafter lathe over the 12-inch, one horsepower version? This is one of those deals to where I came from a beginner lathe, and it didn't have anything on it, so the reason I started looking for a lathe altogether was just to get some more convenience. But yeah, you're, you're the old, he always he used to have a uh, Harbor Freight lathe that did not have any quick release. You had to use a wrench for everything. Everything, and so it was just not convenient at all. Uh, so that was the reason I was looking for a new lathe initially. And so after looking at it, uh, I wanted the variable speed, but the reason I went with the 10 inch. Three quarter, three quarter horsepower versus the 12 inch one horsepower is this one will do everything that I want it to do. So I was mainly turning and still am just mallets and spindle turning pins, that kind of thing. Not really into bowls um, yet. So I didn't really see that I needed a bigger, you know, what do you The larger s- capacity. Swing, swing over bed or whatever. Yeah, I mean, you can still turn a 10 inch bowl on yours. Yeah. And the, the, also the experience he had with my lathe, I have a older model Jet, I think it's a 1014 VS. So mm-hmm. it's variable speed, uh, which he did like. And then the 10 inch is the largest diameter bowl you can turn. And then the 14 is in between centers. And I do have the uh, bed extension as well. But the thing with mm-hmm. mine is the, my, the motor on mine is only a one third horsepower. Yeah, and so I used Jay's lathe when we went to Skytook, Oklahoma. And I knew that it would do the job. So I, this one, the three quarter, I knew would be more than enough for what I was doing. So yeah, for your needs, upgrading to the yeah. even larger one is just unnecessary for what you want to do. Yeah, and plus, you, I can also get a bed extension for this particular lathe. And even if I buy that, I still have less money if I just bought the 12 inch model. Yeah. So, I mean, all in all, this was the perfect fit for me uh, with where I am. If, with my turning. Yeah, and, and as far as like, I'm an advocate of like buying your, your last version of that tool and not continuously upgrading. Well, in this case, for, as far as the bench top model lathes go, there, there's a ceiling of what you can do on them just by their, their, uh, their limitations in size. So mm. jumping up to that extra bench top model really wouldn't offer much when maybe in the long run your end goal mm-hmm. is to have a nice floor standing large full size lathe. If that's the point mm-hmm. then that larger bench top is even further middle middle ground that really won't benefit much anyway. Yeah, and also for what he does anyway and me too. Yeah, and I will also say that you know, I'm not a, a huge turner. I don't turn all the time. And so splurging just a little bit more for a bigger model really didn't make sense to me because I'm I'm not turning yeah, that makes sense. all the time. You know what I mean? That makes sense. So, I mean, I could save that money and put it towards something else uh, for no, a different tool. And the second part of that question is, uh, Jay, maybe you can talk about your lathe and does the need to get a larger one ever arise? The need for a larger one, I wouldn't say it's a need because just like Sean, I'm not primarily a wood turner. I find the lathe to be uh, more of a problem solver. If I need something that is produced on the lathe, then that is the appropriate tool to use. I'm not, it's not like my go-to kind of uh, enjoyment tool. Yeah. So uh, as far as what the, uh, the, the limitations of that smaller lathe, yeah, it's, it's bowls. I've, I've cut a few or I've turned a few 10 inch bowls on there. Um, nine and a half inch bowls and it, it's fun but it's there's definitely a limitation with the size of the lathe and the size of the motor obviously i can do a maximum 10 inch turning but with that size i've actually bogged it down quite a bit trying to turn uh, so as far as bowls i would recommend if you're wanting to get into larger bowls and such just skip the whole bench top lathe and and get an actual bigger nice floor standing or, or something substantial full-size lathe yeah i see a lot of guys that you know have the floor standing or the bigger lathes they're doing a lot of you know big diameter turnings yeah so so i guess it really depends on what you actually need but that was my decision uh, or deciding factor why I went with this particular model. Yeah, I, I, I like my lathe and the size of the lathe that I have for spindle work. It's fantastic for spindle work, even with the one third horsepower. But if I ever want to get into bowls, uh, it's going to be a, a larger lathe situation. Yeah. Okay. 
But hopefully yep. that answers your question and uh, just gives a little bit of feedback on our perspectives with lathes. So yep. thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. See you.